Hello everyone, my name is Shamira, aka Mimi. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. Before we get into anything, let's get grounded with our four elements. That is earth, air, water, and fire, okay? So for my fire element today, I have my handy dandy sage. So I'm gonna get that lit, okay? And I do have a window crack, even though it's kind of cold. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cold. I have low iron. So I have my space here on, but I definitely, definitely have to crack that window if I'm going to be lighting sage, you know, because you don't want the smoke detectors to be going off in the middle of the video. Okay. All right. So I think this is, this is good enough. It's a nice burn. And I do have one of my candles, my, uh, cashmere glow i have one of my crystal candles lit okay um i love that scent i love this one that's my favorite scent okay, okay. so that is going i do have my window crack like i said that is my air element okay for my water element i do have my cup of mint tea all right and for my earth element i have the stone unikite okay Unikite is, this is tumble stone. So um, this is like a moss green with coral marbling throughout. Okay. And unikite is the stone of emotional balance. Okay. Uh, it promotes uh, feelings of compassion, love, gratitude. Okay. Um, and empathy. And this stone is primarily used to um, you know, enhance enjoyment and enjoyment of life, you know, um, because life is not always as bad, even through, you know, the bad moments, it's, you can still find some type of fulfillment, okay? So, yeah, it, it, it instills almost like a zen-like quality, and it is really great for balancing the root, uh, the sacral, and the heart chakra, okay? So, yeah, yeah. Get those chakras balanced. Get those energy balanced. And you guys, I know I have been gone for like a week. I haven't been posting um lately, you know, last Sunday, last uh Wednesday, and yesterday. I missed yesterday, so it's three days, you know. And I, I do want to make up for it, but um, it was a really, really busy week. I did um I was planning for my son's fourth birthday party, you know. Um last week was crazy. Okay, I, I had someone, uh, some spam account, you know, pretending to be me on Instagram. And they were like DMing people. And my sister, uh, she texted me like, why are you DMing me on Instagram? I'm like, what are you talking about? I never DM anyone. Not even my family on Instagram. You know, I'll probably respond to them. But I never just initiate DMs. You know, I never initiate because I'm barely on social media, you know. Um I feel like I'm not going to lie. I feel like it drains me a lot if I'm constantly on there like every day. Here comes Lonnie. He always knows when I'm talking and when I'm doing my videos. Yes, baby. Just a moment, you guys. I'm going to pause this. Of course, you guys. Of course. Of course. It's Lonnie. But um, like I said, sometimes I will take some time off to tend to life, you know, because social media life and real life are two different things, Okay. My real life sometimes can be a little busy, especially with my son. I am a single mother, you know. Um, I have to take care of me for, you know, my health, my son first, you know. Um, make sure his well-being is like, the you know, the best it can be, okay. It's not going to be perfect, but I wanted to make, you know, his life a little easier, you know, because of everything that's going on. You know, how hectic everything can be as far as this virus and, you know, the racism and stuff and the, the election and it's so much going on in the outside world you know so um if i get any moment to enjoy life and to make his life as normal as possible despite everything going on i'm gonna do that okay i do these videos for you know as a hobby you know because i enjoy helping people i enjoy giving little little pieces <laughs> this is <laughs> little pieces of myself you know I can share some of me, you know, but not, but not all of me. Now I can see if this was my full time, you know, job and I was a full time YouTuber, but I'm not, you know. Um, so yes, yeah, you guys, when someone is giving you 
pieces of themselves and sharing themselves, especially, you know, for free. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Have that gratitude, you know, get you some Unikite, okay? And this stone, this stone Unikite, I am selling it. Um, it is available right now on my on my Etsy shop, and I will leave that link um, in the bio on Insta, okay? And also um, below this video. I will leave the link below this video, okay? Along with the crystal candles. So, yeah. And my crystal candles, once again, you, uh, I have scents ranging from fruity to floral to, um, you know, a sensual, sexy scent. And each candle, it has a surprise crystal. You don't know what it is, you know? Um, that crystal comes with a message and it tells you what the crystal um, is about, you know, and, and how it can help you in your life. All right. So I, I, I really think it's a fun thing. <laughs> but yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, you guys, I, I had to take care of my son. I had, he had a nice birthday. His birthday was uh, last Wednesday, you know, and I, I gave him a little party amongst family you know, they have fun. My voice is still a little raspy because um, I was screaming and yelling, you know. <laughs> I think the adults had just as much fun as the other as children. So um, it was this one game, okay, that I thought of. Um, I, I I had little boxes, okay, like little gift boxes. And each gift box was like money or like toys or like different types of candy. But each box had a clue to where a grand box was. So the grand box had like um, the most amount of money, you know, um, an extra little toy. And the children had three minutes to find as many boxes as they could. And if they found a certain amount of boxes, we had a pinata. They get, the, you know, how many boxes they got, that's how many hits they get on the pinata. But also, like I said, it was in each box was clues to where the grand box was. So, you know, after they counted their boxes, they got all the clues. They had to go find, had another two minutes to go find a grand box. If no one found the grand box, of course, it goes to the birthday boy. So, um, yeah, then they got the little hits on the piñata, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the piñata, you know, bust open, and then we had like candy explosions where we take the candy and just like toss it in the air. You gotta catch them. That was so much fun, you know. I think that, um, you know, like I said, with everything going on, it's okay for family to get together, you know, as long as they're being, uh, you know, just crystal, uh, you know, following the guidelines of social distancing. Of course, everyone, you know, got their test for COVID. So, you know, it was a clear for them to come around. It was like a small little get together, you know, just, a, you know, the children, close cousins and things like that. Not too big. It really wasn't a big uh, get together, but he had fun, you know, any kids party is going to be um, fun. You got to get creative. So, yeah, it was definitely something that I feel like um, some of us adults need. And I do talk about that sometimes about, um, you know, finding that inner child and getting back to that inner child to have fun and just let loose. You know, remember when you didn't have to be an adult, you know? <laughs> it was a lot, a lot. It was really a lot of candy. It was like a lot. So I, I think that I, I did a great job of eliminating them wanting to um, go trick-or-treating next week. Is it this week or next week? I think it's next week. Is it next Monday? I don't know. I'll go back on my calendar and see. Sometimes I can get a little terrible with the days and I forget the days and the dates and uh, yeah. So yeah, I definitely have fun. I'm trying to rest my voice because like I said, it's still a little raspy as you guys can hear. So I'm drinking my, my peppermint tea and honey <laughs> to see those vocal cords because I need my voice, you know, I need my voice to, you know, put out those messages. I feel like I need to put out. You know, I, I apologize, you guys, if you if you were looking forward to, you know, a nice healing session last week or, uh, you know, yesterday. I got I have some cards. I have two decks I can pull from today. Yeah. Usually it's just money Mondays and things. I'll talk about, you know, ways you can make more money or you can invest your money into certain uh, companies, you know, and invest your money into stocks and bonds and things like that. But. I don't know. I just decided to do an update today. Just to let you guys know what's going on. So yes, I do appreciate you guys. All right. 
And I also had a few uh, uh, personal energy readings and I had to get those done before I started his party, you know, and I had an order on my online shop. I had to ship out. So yeah, I'm, I'm only one person and I'm, and I'm really doing a lot, okay? And if any single single parent, any parent knows when it comes to children, um, you know, putting the effort in to make them just to see and well to make them happy and just to see a smile on their faces. Um, it takes a lot of work, okay? To 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 pull everything together, you know, to bring family together to make sure, you know, he gets the most out of it. <laughs> so yeah, I did a lot of work. I did a lot of work this weekend cooking, you know. You have people over, you have children over, you have to make sure there's enough food because you can run out of food pretty quickly. Um, not only for the for the children, but the adults too, you know. You gotta feed the mothers and the fathers, you gotta feed the parents too. Um and it's crazy because every time I, I plan a party, I always end up not eating for the whole day. I was snack on like some chips or just something. <laughs> I think I was so worried about everyone, you know, having a good time and enjoying themselves. Um, I do sometimes forget about me. So it is necessary for me sometimes to take off a few days, you know, um, so really unwind, you know, so, you yeah. know, but yeah, you guys, that's enough of that. I do want to pull from my Heal Yourself deck, okay? I'm going to do a quick shuffle. I'm going to pull one card. And I also have my Goddess Power deck, okay? Just things that we should be focusing on or things we might need to work on during the week, okay? Just to bring us some type of peace, you know? Some type of enjoyment um, and hobbies and, um, you know, things that push us towards our success in life. Because that's all I want to see is people... Us, you know, us humans just succeed. Okay. I got one and flipped over. So you guys, like I said, hobbies, things pushing you towards yourself, success. And um, the card you got was unleash your creativity, okay? 31, 4. And I did say in numerology, 4. I want to do a video on numerology, okay? I want to do that so you guys can uh, understand exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about numbers and numerology and how it, you know, it ties into our life, our lives. Um, yeah, unleash your creativity. So yeah, I'm gonna read this, okay? Thirty-one. I'm gonna read this and let you guys know what I think. Okay, so 31, your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful assets, okay? Hmm. Allow your imagination to roam without limits and access new ideas without judging them. It's time for you to be innovative and birth unique creations. If you are feeling stuck, get up, move, try new things, meet new people, read books and paint and etc. Concentrate on the area of your life where you need to be creative. Are you a great singer who needs to share their talents with others? Do you have an affinity with gardening? Can you tell powerful stories? Are you technically minded? Can you whoop up amazing meals? What is your special flavor of creativity? Whatever it is, give yourself permission and the time to be inventive. The more creative you allow yourself to be, the more fulfilled you are going to feel. You know, you guys, I feel like this is, yeah. Maybe some of you are a little blocked as far as your creativity. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the stone, um, Unikite, I feel like it really, uh, yeah. It really ties in with this, you know. It's about, uh, you know, joy and improvement um, and, and, and enjoyment of hobbies, you know, um, and as far as you to work hard and improve yourself, you know, towards measurable achievements, okay, um, yeah, and success in, in all of your activities, yeah, and it's those 
determination and facilitates feelings of love and friendship. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you guys are a little stuck, you know. Um, you feel like you don't have what it takes, or some of you are still a little, you know, hesitant or sharing your gifts, abilities, and talents with other people because you're, you're, you are afraid that they might, you know, uh, make fun of you or um, just misunderstand you when it comes to what you have created or what you have to offer, you know, the world. So, yeah, you guys, don't get stuck on... Um, scenarios made up in your head of, of how things might go if you do this, you know? Um, they're either going to love it, you know, or they're not. Sometimes it's kind of like in between, you know? Um, life isn't, isn't as black and white as we think it is when it comes to, um, you know, feedback on us, you know? We shouldn't be worried about what other people are going to think or what they might say when we put out our, our, our best, uh, you know, efforts and, and, and our best, you know, our gifts, you know, and talents, what we have to offer, like I said. Um, so yeah, you guys don't don't worry about what other people are gonna say about you or to you. If you feel like you have something that is worth uh, the accolades, you know, um, it's worth just abundance, success, put it out there, okay? Stop, stop tripping. <laughs> All right, stop it. Don't, don't question yourself. Listen to your intuition when it comes to uh, things like that, you know, projects, um, gifts, hobbies. If you really think about it, you know, our thoughts become actions, all right? And, and our actions are, are just, it becomes who we are, okay? So, yeah, if you can think of it, then, then put it out, all right? As long as it's not harming anyone in any, you know, a uh, grand way, you know, just do it, right? So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull from this deck too because I also want to know. Um, I also want to know what else you know can help you um, get out of the energy. And um, you know this 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 card does sound like a um, unleash your creativity. It does seem like a. a a sacral chakra imbalance, you know, and this is like I said, it's great for root, um, sacral, and um, heart chakras, okay. And with the sacral chakra, it's about you know creativity, self worth, self improvement, um, self confidence, self esteem, you know. And when we're when when that chakra is blocked, we we tend to uh, overthink about. Um, you know, we overthink about ourselves. You know, we, we tend to think about more of the negativity, our weaknesses than our strengths, okay? So, yeah, definitely focus on that sacral chakra. If you need some unikite or, you know, um, some centrine, yeah, go grab that. Like I said, yeah, it would be great for that. So, again, we're going to do a quick shuffle from the Goddess Power Jack, okay? Shuffle. When I get down to my last shuffle, if anything pop, nothing pops out. I'm gonna take off the top. Okay. Okay. Last shuffle. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but it is the goddess Liazi, and that is the goddess of revelation, okay? Right, and it's 28. 28, you add that up, 2 plus 8, that'll be 10. So 10 is the number of completions, okay? Um, wrapping up cycles, um... Closing doors, closing chapters, entering new chapters, opening new doors, okay? So I'm going to read that. I'm going to read the most important passage from this. 28, okay? All right. I'm going to read the first one, okay? Sometimes life throws you a curveball, and it feels like you've been hit by lightning. Perhaps a romantic partner betrays you suddenly. An illness strikes someone close to you. 
a job you expected fell through and the new employee turns out to be a dud, or you get a huge tax bill. No matter what the subject, your task is a pivot and a course correction according to the needs of the event. Even if you don't understand what's happening, don't second guess yourself. Some things are not meant to be predictable and detours may be exactly what you need. Loss or bad news aren't the only option in the situation. You may have just been offered something you've always wanted, such as a proposal from a lover, a better job, or a chance to move. Your tendency might be to try to control the circumstances or worry you may not be prepared for change. The goddess lazy reminds you that the great goddess will never give you more than you can handle. Your alignment test is to surrender to what is in front of you. You can do this. So I'm kind of looking at I'm I'm looking at how this could uh how this could tie into um uh, I'm sorry you guys the other um card you know the card of uh unleashing your creativity you know maybe um yeah maybe some of you guys have lost a job you know lost someone close to you or find yourself in a sticky situation and, and maybe this is whatever happened you know whatever negative circumstance in your mind you know some people. Anything, any change, you know, that's going against your um, comfortability that the sec you had to sacrifice your comfortability for can be viewed as um, a negative um, circumstance. OK, everyone has a different perspective of what is negative and what isn't. You know, some people look at change as being a uh, sudden change as being uh, an opportunity to do, you know, find get dig into their creative side and find what works for them. OK, and other people might look at it as like a complete um downfall you know like oh my goodness i don't know what to do it, it, it absolutely blindsided me you know um whatever is going on in your life right now uh negative or not maybe whatever changes you know maybe it is something to push you into your creative side to get you to do something that you always wanted to do but you keep putting off you know because you you, you fear um you fear criticism, you know, no matter what you do in life, whether it's going to be positive or not, you're always going to get some type of criticism. Um, sometimes it's constructive criticism, you know, things that we need to improve to be the best us, you know, the best that we can be. But other times it could be really destructive criticism to bring us down. And you have to use that discernment to figure out, you know, which one is which. Um, when you're going for something in life that means a lot to you, you know, um, you cannot take everyone's advice because everyone is not for you, okay? Um, and also when things happen in life, you can't always look at it like they're happening to you, but sometimes things happen for you. It might not be, uh, the timing might not be on your timing, you know, it might come at the worst freaking times as, you know, possible, but, um, Sometimes those things happen because it's, it's, it's pushing you, it's forcing you into a situation where you have to change, you know, you have to go for what you want to go for. Um, I've seen people have the greatest ideas. I mean, the greatest, oh my goodness, like freaking geniuses when it comes to certain things, you know, but they didn't go for it. You know, they, they stopped themselves and made up excuses. So I have children or I have this and I have to work and, you know, my job is holding me back. Well, damn, you get fired two weeks, you know, two weeks later. So now you have no choice but to go for it. You know, you, you have to stop making excuses. I'm telling you guys, life will show you solutions to most of your problems. Those solutions might not come the way you want them to come, but believe me, they will come. Um, that's just how life works. We don't understand exactly why things happen the way they happen, but sometimes it is necessary for our growth, okay? And growth, I'm telling you right now, it, it hurts, all right? Especially when we're not, we don't want it, you know? <laughs> so it may not be what you want, but sometimes it's what you need, all right? So definitely, you guys, maybe something is in your life is um, happening, you know, it's bringing some type of revelation, you know? And I think deep down inside, a lot of people kind of understand um, why things are happening to them, Okay. They don't want to admit why, but I think everyone you kind of side and kind of knows, have an inkling of why something is happening and occurring in their life. So, yeah, don't don't get too caught up in uh, 
change, okay? Caught up in a negative aspect of change. Just welcome it, all right? Yes. Get into that creative side. Uh, just a moment, you guys. Yes, baby, I can hear you. I say, wait a minute, okay? All right? I'll, I'll be in there in a little bit, okay? Okay, I'm about to come. Let me finish, all right? All right. So, yeah. Embrace that creative side, all right? I'm telling you, you'll be surprised what you can come up with in a little short period of time when a little pressure is applied, okay? Just like a diamond. So, yeah. You guys, that is it. If you guys like this video, like it, okay? Um, share it if you find something useful or you find something that other people can find useful. Um, share it, you know? Comment, let me, let me know, okay, guys? Um, what else you want to see on this channel? What other topics you want me to cover? I'm also thinking about doing lives, you know, once in a while, okay? So, yeah. Um, if you guys want to check out my shop, I will leave that link below if you're interested in purchasing some items like this Rena Kite Stone or this beautiful crystal candle, okay? All right? So, yeah. Yeah, come holla at me. See what you like, all right? And you guys, I am still doing the energy reading. So if you're interested in your own energy reading, all right, I'll leave everything in the description box below. They're only $15. And I also have the two questions, okay? Um, and those two questions are $10, okay? Two for $10, all right? So yeah, you guys, yeah. Check out my shop if you're interested in that. Um, email me. I do have my email below if you're interested in the reading, okay? And you guys, thank you so much for being patient with me, all right? <laughs> I will be posting on um, this Wednesday, okay? This Wednesday, and I'll say Friday or Saturday, but I will be posting um, two more times this week, okay? So you guys, you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, okay? Blessed day, all right? And until next time, okay? Mwah. Love you. Bye.